there and welcome to another video. Today we're looking at the uh, SD to SCSI, uh, a card that I bought from Amiga Kit a few months ago. I haven't really got around to trying it very much but I thought I'd set it up in the Amiga and so I have. It's currently running in my Amiga 2000. It's running on my GVP Series 1 um, HD Two, I think it is. It's a Zorro, um, a Zorro SCSI card, which has uh, two megabytes. Is it four megabytes? Might be four megabytes of RAM. Anyway, it's a SCSI, SCSI one Zorro card. It's driving it. GVP. Um, well, what can I say about the SD to SCSI? Well, this is a version five. It says on it. You can probably see the little yellow light LED blinking on and off. That's because it's connected to my Mac. Here, that is the, um, the utility. I'm setting the machine up. I'll quickly th flick through this. Um, what does it say? Okay, ver uh, so, uh, firmware 4.6. The card is a, does it tell you what it is? Well it says revision 4.2 but on the motherboard it says um, revision 5 I think. Yeah, revision 5A. Anyway, so these are my general settings if anyone's uh, attempting to fit one in a, and is having trouble on the Amiga. These are my settings, it has an 8 gigabyte uh, card on there. I should, I should load from device actually. So we've got uh, we've got the current settings that my machine's using. It's an eight gigabyte micro SD that's connected in there to Samsung, I think, or something like that. Close. There we go. It's an eight gigabyte card. General settings. Respond to SCSI. Selection pulses. For some reason, I have that enabled. Uh, it's because the ID one. It's a hard drive. Sectors. Eight gigabyte. Some basic information that um, the Amiga will tell you. These drives here are um, slave drives, if you like. I can. I could tick that, and it would use part of that eight gigabyte to make a new drive. The idea is if you have an operating system that um, can only access say 2 gigabytes or 1 gigabyte or 4 gig, whatever it is, you could put a 16 gigabyte or a 32, 32 gigabyte card in there and divide it up into 4 equal portions to give you a, to give you 4 other drives if you will uh, from one card. It's quite a good idea. I haven't used it personally but there you are. But anyway, I, I did set this up last night and got it running for the first time on my Amiga 2000. I have had it working uh, in a couple of Macs, uh, SE30s, and it worked perfectly well. I did have the resistor packs in to terminate it when it was on the Mac. Uh, and I connected it up with those into the Amiga, turned it on, and all I got was a solid yellow light. Um, I sort of guessed that it must be a scuzzy. Uh, termination problem. Uh, so, so anyway, I removed the resistor packs, they are the terminators, and it booted up straight away. Well, no, it didn't. It was found, let's say, in um, HD tools. It didn't boot until I partitioned the memory card and um, formatted it and copied Workbench over. But I've done that now. That's the um, little uh, eight gig card. Oh, it's a Kingston. I tell a lie. Um, that's it, really. I'm not going to copy any files over or do anything with it as such. I just thought I'd show it in operation and how I fitted it. I currently have my Amiga in pieces. Uh, that's the old. I think it's a. What is it? 39 megabyte or 49 megabyte. It's an Apple drive out of a Mac SE, I think. Um, it partitioned and I formatted it, it uh, it works, it does have a bad sector somewhere, the Apple gets the, gets the ump on, but the Amiga seems to cope with it okay. 
It does sound like an aircraft taking off or landing, whichever you prefer. So I'm going to pop that drive out, I'm going to bolt this in and um, we shall pick up from there. Okay, the SCSI controller is clipped back onto my uh, GVP Zoro card. You can't see it for the mess of wires. But we have a whole string of drives now. DHL obviously. So we'll boot up. It's quite a leisurely and sedate place. There it goes, booting. This is still running on a, um, a 68k CPU, 7 megahertz standard. So it's quite a leisurely affair booting up. It works, and it works well. I hope when I accelerate this machine, when I eventually get around to it, to see some uh, improvements in speed, but we'll, we shall see. Focus. There we go. Um, right. Uh, I can't pick your definitions, can I? Okay. Well, that's the. SCSI to uh, SD 4.2. It'll be horrendously slow on a 68000, I'm sure. But uh, let's have a look. Oh, but it's not even up to a megabyte. That's okay. Seems to think it's got a 68030 in it for some reason. But anyway. I can't show you anything because there's absolutely nothing on it as it's um it's a blank card that I've just put in there. But anyway, that is the um SCSI to SD. I bought it from Amiga Kit. Let's see if they've still got them. Hmm. All right. Uh, where would that be? Would that be in? Been an adapter and an interface. I would suspect it probably is. SCSI. Oh, there we go. There we go. How much is that? Oh, yeah. That's where it is. Also compatible with the A590 and GVP A500. Well, it's also compatible with an A2000. Compatible, compatible, compatible. Please note: to start with a new, new batch. The Molex connector is facing vertically up and not right angled. All right. I think the version six has actually got a floppy connector on there instead of the Molex. But that's okay. So yeah, it's a 50 pin. Oh, it's a SCSI 2 connector. Is it? I wonder what my card is. Let's see what my card is. My card is a GVP uh, HD2 or something. HD plus. Oh, 
Well, it's not that, but it is. JVP, it is a HC plus two. Is that what it is? That's exactly what it is. That's my card. Double ROM version mine, and I've updated the ROMs to 4.15 from Ralph Babel's site. Oh, there you go, there's a SCSI ROM there. But that's 3.15, I'm sure I did 4. Anyway. So, it's, oh, it's an Impact A2000. Okay. Anyway. That's what my card is. And that is what the SCSI control, uh, the SCSI adapter is. So anyway, so is that any good? Well, it works. It's quiet or quieter. So to me, that's a big bonus. I can probably pop that card out, and stick it in my um, Windows PC, and copy all my Amiga stuff over to it. Not much use at the moment with the 68K processor, 6800. But um, soon it will be um, severely updated. But that's a job for another day. So anyway, that's my uh, that's my SCSI 2SD. Thank you very much.